The renters' rights bill is a hot topic at the moment and there are big changes on the horizon for all, and I emphasise all, private residential sector landlords. Now, it is important that you are aware of the changes and the plan ahead to protect your investments. It's so, so, so important. Now, I've put together a series of videos giving you the information you need to know. So click on the subscribe button to receive the latest updates and the latest content as we re actually publish it online for you. Now, in this video, I'm going to be covering what I feel is the most significant point proposed in the bill, the move to periodic tenancy system. Now, no more fixed term tenancies. It's a big, big, big change. Now, you will not be able to give your tenants a fixed term contract. This will mean that you will no longer be able to tie your tenants into a standard six month tenancy or even a, up to a 12 month tenancy anymore. Instead, all tenancies will be periodic from day one and the notice period for tenants will increase to two months from one month as it is currently. So in theory, you could have a tenant move in and the next day they could give you two months notice straight away, resulting in a two month tenancy. Now, the Labour government's theory behind this is one that it will end the injustice of tenants being trapped paying rent, you know, in a property that is it's substandard. It's not up to standard that it should be, as well as adding more flexibility to both parties to respond to changing circumstances. So, for example, I don't know, a job relocation or maybe even a relationship breakdown. Now, for me, this is massive, especially for the Coventry market and in cities that have got student, big student population to universities in the city of Coventry. Now, if you are a landlord who deals solely with students, you will no longer be able to tie tenants into an 11 or 12 month tenancy. And the likelihood is that your tenants will be giving you notice in April to move out in June, where the majority of courses will be finishing at university. Now, if you're thinking, well, I don't know, well, over those summer holidays during that void period, we'll do Airbnb or serviced accommodation over that void period. Remember, we are in an Article 4 area, which means that you'll be changing the use of your property and potentially use your, lose your HMO license status. So not necessarily a suitable solution. Now, with this, you know, this was something that was on the table under the previous renters reform bill with the Conservatives. Various landlord groups lobbied with the government that this was, you know, need to revise this so that tenants could not give notice in the first four months. So essentially resulting just in a minimum six month term of the tenancy. And unfortunately, the Labour government have reversed this. And they've made this amendment and they've gone back to the two months notice from day one. Now, as landlords, we are going to tighten up our processes. We're going to have to, you know, make sure that we're going to get better at referencing and understanding exactly what our prospective tenants are looking for. It's really, really important now with the question and del delving into what the situation is of our tenants and applicants. In particular, how long they're going to stay. We're going to really push the property condition standards even higher than they already are and make sure that they're in the best condition for our tenants from day one. Now, this one is definitely going to require some preparation in terms of new tenancy agreements, but also the thought of potential adaption or change of strategy. How are you going to which, you know, target market, for example, particularly, you know, if it's going to be that you're currently targeting a student market. Now, it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but with all of these changes coming, now is a great time to book a free tenancy health check call with our team. Now, we can discuss in further detail some of the challenges that you may be facing, or even that you think you might be facing, looking to be proactive. Simply click on the link in the comments section below to schedule your call straight into our calendar.